Okay, guys, I'm going to talk about something I probably shouldn't be talking about because I really don't care about the game in question. But I think I can still bring my two cents to the conversation because, honestly, I don't get why people are getting so mad about this with the console version of this game. But I get why, but at the same time, it wouldn't bother me and I wouldn't care if I, if I wanted to play this game. But at the same time, I get it. But we're going to get into it. Anyway... If you like this video, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys know the drill. Click the bell button for all notifications. All that good stuff. I'm going to try to upload more videos like this in the future because I need to do more content for you guys if I want my channel to grow. So, if you guys like content like this where I just talk about random stuff I hear about, um, just leave a like and comment down below. It really helps out the channel a lot. Thank you. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So... The Xbox showcase thing was re pretty recent. I don't remember what day it was because I didn't care because I don't own an Xbox. So I didn't really care. But I always do watch breakdown videos of everything that was like interesting in the showcase. Just in case there's a game I care about that is coming to PC or something. Like Perfect Dark, for instance. Of course, there was no update about that, so... I was disappointed about that, but they did give some information on the game Darfield. I, I believe we're getting the name right. And they said basically console would be locked at 30 frames a second uh, across the board, like 1440p on the Series S and I think 4K on the X. And it was 30 frames a second. And then apparently the PC version will have 60 frames a second, like, locked, I think. I'm not sure if it's completely locked, because it's hard to say, but they're, they're stating it's locked, but who knows? It could have issues on day one, who knows, when it comes out. But then, later on, in, in the next couple of days, in, the, in a week, people were, like, losing their minds... About the console version not having 60 frames a second. And I was like, why are people so mad about this? Like, if the game's hyped and good, like, it looks like it's pretty good and it's pretty hyped, like, a lot of people are hyped for it, it seems like, then why let frames per second get in the way of your enjoyment of it? Like, look at Tears of the Kingdom. That game is really, really fun. I'm enjoying it. And people are enjoying it, saying its praises. Even though it's on an old-ass piece of technology, basically. The Nintendo Switch. Like, they're, 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 they've, Nintendo has squeezed everything out of the Nintendo Switch they can at this point. With performance with Tears of the Kingdom. But that runs at 30 frames a second. Does it bother me? No. Because you expect that from that. But I'm just saying. People are saying in that game's praises. Even though it runs at 30 frames a second. So why is not such a big deal to people. If a game doesn't run at 60 frames a second. I don't. I don't understand it. I get it. Like. For. for let me give you an example. Like for a. First person shooter or something like that, like Doom or Doom Eternal or something. Um, you're you're gonna want 60 frames a second, but for like, for like an action adventure game, like it really doesn't matter that much to me that it doesn't that a game wouldn't run at 60 frames a second. But I mean, I I, I see the the point for people like you you spend. Whatever an Xbox Series X costs, like $350, $400, whatever it is, $500, I don't, I don't remember what they cost. But whatever. Whatever they cost, I get it. You're spending like a premium price for something, and maybe maybe $70 on a game, you, you, you kind of feel jaded when it's not 60 frames a second. But you guys got to also think about this. PC... 
tech and just the cost of like owning a PC and a, and a good PC to run stuff is getting way cheaper than it is to like actually buy multiple games on a console or whatever. And by that, I mean, if you want the best experience, then invest in a PC. Especially if you're into Microsoft games. Because most of the time, they come to PC anyway. Or even Game Pass. Like, whatever. But either way, like, just invest in a PC. And then if you're going to get pissed about it. Because, like, you have no room to complain. Like, you know going in, especially this generation... It seems like a lot of games are struggling to run at 60 FPS, even on the latest, like, hardware from any developer or company. Like, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, they all have the same issue. So, I just don't understand why people get so mad about it when... I don't care. Like, it doesn't bother me. As long as, long as the game's good... And it runs decently and it doesn't dip below like 15 frames or something. Like, just try to enjoy the game for what it is and just leave it at that. Like, understand that it's not easy to make a game run at 60 frames a second on hardware that's that really isn't up to spec like a $3,000 PC or whatever. Or a $5,000 PC. Whatever whatever you would need to have like the best experience for Starfield. Whatever cost that would be PC-wise with a graphics card, CPU, all that stuff. Whatever that would be. that That's the definitive way to play the game. Like, I, I just don't understand... Why people are like, well, well, why is it, why is it only 30 frames a second on a console? Because that's the best they can do with what they have to work with, with the consoles. With PCs, it's different. People need to understand how, like, making games works. It's not, it's not like cut and dry. You can't just make something 60 frames across the board if something doesn't, like, support it. It's either they all get 30 or, or, and then no one would be happy. Because I'm sure PC people are like, sweet, I'm going to play on PC, so it doesn't matter. My, my PC can handle it, whatever. But like all these console people that are talking about, why is it 30 per second on the Xbox Series X? Like the, the, the S people understand because that's like a budget version of the X but like I said you can't expect your console to have the same kind of performance as a beefy PC would like that's why people prefer PC gaming nowadays because that's how you get the best experience from stuff is by PC gaming now, that being said, like like I've always said, I'm not a PC gamer, so if I was pumped for this game, which I'm not, I would just deal with the 30 frames a second because it's, it's not a huge deal. But I don't know. I just want to do a video about this because I, I thought it was interesting that people still whine about 30 frames a second. Like, like it's that big of a deal. Like, all the Nintendo Switch, like, fanboys don't care. I don't care, and I'm not a fanboy of Nintendo Switch, but I, I don't give a crap about, like, 30 frames, 60 frames, because it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, if the game's good and you're hyped for it, just enjoy the game for what it is. Like, I don't understand why people always whine and complain about frames, and set, frames per second. And resolution, too. You get some resolution, people. Like, I, that is more perplexing to me than frames per second. I could get behind frames per second, like like I said with FPSs, but like resolution stuff, like as long as it's not 720p, 
like the Switch on like an Xbox Series X game or PS5, then why complain about resolution too? I don't know. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, shout out to you to my Patreon support for supporting my channel. Uh, I always forget to bring up my list before I start videos. I hate when I do that. Uh, but thank you guys for supporting the channel. All you guys. You guys are never scrolling across the screen now. But my shout out people. Let me pull my list here. Shout outs go to Matt Y99 Reaper7734. Uh, I'm trying to go off memory here. Title Cow, AJ Gottawa, Oliver Frederick, Zola Atfi, It's Me, Charles, Joe, William Swift, Griff17, Charlie McKean, Rufus Security, Zoo Hall, Artist of Dominic, Pre Just Drew, Arnie Mansley, HHG Fan, George McConnell, X Tinkers, Elliot Scott, Benjamin Tellen, Mac Lewis Auro, and Mac and Dude. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Um, means a lot to me. You guys know that. I don't need to say it every freaking video, but I feel like I do because. I don't deserve your guys' support, but I get it anyway. So it really helps the show on. I, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for the gameplay stuff. I just didn't talk about the camera right now. But uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Peace.